This is a short-term rehabilitation protocol for athletes with PEZ answering bursitis. With these kinds of athletes, it's really important that you get them on a self-stretching program um, because that's the most important part of the rehab all the way through. So we're going to start showing you those stretches so that they can perform them in the clinic and outside the clinic. So the first stretch that you want the athlete to do is a static hamstring stretch. The athlete can put their leg up against a table or a corner of a wall and stretch their hamstring as far as they can. The next step, stretch is a static quadricep stretch. The athlete does this by grabbing their heel and bringing their foot up towards their glutes and bringing it up as far as they can. The third stretch is a standing calf stretch. The athlete does this by putting their foot up against the wall and leaning into the wall. And the final stretch that you want the athlete to do is a static hip adductor stretch, also known as a butterfly stretch. The athlete puts their heels together and presses their knees towards the ground, as shown here. The first exercise that you want the athlete to do is heel slides. They'll start with their heel on the wall and move down. This is working on just general range of motion. Within the first week of protocol, it's also important that you start the athlete with some is isometric strengthening exercises. The first one is quad isometrics. The athlete pushes their leg into the table as shown here and back up. Then following that, you want them to do hamstring isometrics, where their knees are bent and they are pushing their heels down into the table. To further progress this exercise in week three, the athlete will move into a single leg squat onto a platform. This is also called mini squats, but we want to isolate the affected piriformis on the injured leg, and the athlete will be performing the squat on that injured leg. The athlete will balance on one leg and perform the squat. He or she can perform three sets of 10. The next exercise you can have the athlete do is plie squats. These differ from regular squats because the athletes have their feet pointed outwards. The next kind of squat that you can have the athlete do is split squats or stationary lunges. You perform them by putting one foot forward and touching the opposite knee to the ground, as shown here. Another exercise to be performed for neuromuscular restoration would be steam boats. The athlete will stand on his or her affected limb and apply the resistance on the unaffected limb. The athlete will begin by going backwards with the resistance and then moving medially. forward, and back, laterally. This exercise is used to increase the neuromuscular control in the affected limb. To make this exercise harder, the athlete can stand on an uneven surface, such as an air exercise. this exercise another step the athlete can go completely over the stool and then go up backwards athlete can perform this for three sets of ten all right so the next exercise is lunge perturbation so for this you have the athlete kneel down with their injured leg forward with their arms out in front of them with their elbows locked and then the clinician will provide a force and perturbation and that you tell the athlete to keep as still as possible The next exercise that you can have the athlete do is slide on a slide board, as shown here. The next exercise to further work on neuromuscular control is BOSU ball balance, as shown here. The next exercise is VMO knee extensions, as shown here. The athlete has currently has a small BOSU ball, or Swiss ball, between their legs, and they're squeezing together with their ankles and raising the ball up. You can also do this exercise with a soccer ball or volleyball. The next exercise for strengthening is Swiss ball VMO with wall squats. The athlete is doing a wall squat with a Swiss ball and has another Swiss ball between their legs, squeezing their knees together to target that VMO. The next exercise is a single leg ball toss, and you can have them do this on an Airx pad or a foam pad. 